Hi and welcome to Dendriad Art. Today I'm going to be showing you a few origami folds and these are all made from my kaleidoscopes that I've been making for a Twitter um, project that goes on every Saturday called Kaleido Saturday and I was thinking about how I could use all the kaleidoscopes that I've been making and I uh, remembered about an old technique that was quite popular in the early 2000s called teabag folding and teabag folding got its name because it made the origami papers from decorative teabag pouches that actually held uh, teabags in so I'm not too keen on the name teabag folding so I thought I would uh, just call these origami stars um, really easy technique to do I'm going to show you in this video I'm going to show you how to do the diamond fold and in the next video I'm going to show you how to do a triangular fold the diamond fold creates these kind of pieces that we have here and the triangular fold creates these kind of pieces that we have here so just ever so slightly different I've decided as well to make a few couple of free downloads so this and this are available on my blog and I'll put a link to those on my blog to download for free uh, just so you can get yourself started so these are two of my original kaleidoscope pieces that are all made from my own illustrations and it's very easy to get started so first of all you always need eight tiles for each of the origami stars so cut out each of the eight tiles which I've already done here and we'll get folding put those to one side so let's start off with this one here so to do the diamond fold we need to start off with all of the decoration facing the desk and with each fold you take the tile and your first fold is to fold edge to edge make a nice crease with your nail and open it out turn it 90 degrees fold edge to edge make a nice crease with your nail and open it out now we flip it over so the pattern side is facing up and now we're going to work corner to corner so we fold corner to corner make a nice crease open it out and again turn it 90 degrees fold corner to corner and open out so now we've got the whole set of mountain and valley folds on the piece and what I do is I just pop it so that the middle goes up and it automatically shows you where the mountain and valley folds are and what you're going to do is actually take the two edges that you've got two valley folds in and if you just push them together like that and flatten them you create a diamond fold and that's your first tile so I will repeat that edge to edge make sure that your patterns face in the desk and out edge to edge make sure your patterns face in the desk and out now you flip it over the patterns facing up and it's corner to corner corner to corner make a nice crease and out corner to corner make a nice crease and out pop that middle bit up and it will automatically show you the mountain and valley folds you take the two edges where there's valley folds going down push towards each other and flatten and there's your diamond fold so I'm going to do the rest and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to actually put them all together
Okay, so I've got eight diamond folds now, and now we're going to construct everything so that they make the actual origami star. I like to use double sided tape. That you can use uh, glue sticks or even a little dab of PBA glue, glue that's absolutely fine. But uh, I prefer double sided tape, so I'm just going to get myself a few squares ready. Right, so you can put your diamonds together in several different ways. You can either put them together, so you're always using there's a crease down the middle here and the edge of your tile and you're always going to be using that crease down the middle to place the edge of your tile right up next to where that crease would be but there's different ways of doing it you can either do it like I've done, I'm going to do here and just place the tile on top or you can flip up the edge and slot them in together like that you can also do everything the other way around. So if you want to put that back corner together down at the bottom, you can do that. And again, you can slot them in as well. So it's entirely up to you which way you want to do them. I kind of like it to overlap a little bit. So I'm just going to lift up this little flap, put my double sided tape on. And then I'm just going to slot the whole tile in, making sure that I've got that corner butting up against each other and also making sure that that edge is straight up against where the fold would be. And then I'm just going to fold them over each other. And I'll continue all the way around. So I'll just take that flap, push it up, put my double sided tape on there. Get my next tile, line it up so that the centre's all lined up. Flip it over like that. So you can see that each of those centre pieces meets up in the middle and that the folded edge meets up where the previous tile has its central fold. You can see the central fold that's here. And the next tile I'm going to get. Pop that on there. Take that off. Line up top to top. And then I'm just going to interweave the two like that. So I'll continue around until I've got to the last one. And when you get to the last fold, you just do as you would before. You put your tape there and then you thread it over. And there you have your origami tail ready to go onto a greetings card. Now this, this is the original one which is what we've just done which is nice but then we can also take that fold one step further and make these two particular different designs i'll show you with this one now this tile i've actually made um a bumper set of 25 different origami tiles for you to download so if you fancy supporting the channel then i'll put a link to those in as well they're just 4.99 for um 25 pages so hopefully you'll think that's good value uh, we're going to start off again just as we did before so make sure that your pattern's facing down edge to edge first turn it over so the pattern's facing up and now you do corner to corner pop it up in the middle 
your valley fold. So there's the original diamond shape that we had before. But to make this extra, you can see this extra shape here, here. Let's take those the two top corners and fold this edge here in so it meets the fold. And flatten it down fold it out and you've got a nice edge. Again take this top edge, fold it in so it meets this fold, flatten it down, fold it out and now you've got that dimension to your fold. So if you place them all that way around then you'll get this effect. And if you place the tiles all that way around, then you'll get this effect. So have a go, download the free ones and have a little go and see how you get on. And uh, let me know in the comments. Have fun.